Novak Djokovic isn't having the best year. He was deported from Australia earlier this year after he refused to get the COVID-19 vaccine. He then missed Indian Wells and Miami Open because of the same reason. And he'll likely miss the US Open later this year. And in today's video, we're talking about Jan Tyriak's comments on how this has been a fatal mistake for the 20-time Grand Slam champion. Let's get started. First things first, what exactly did Jan Tyriak say? A couple of weeks ago, business tycoon and former world number 19, Jan Tyriak slammed Novak Djokovic for his stance against the COVID-19 vaccine. He said it was a shame that he'd created an issue with it because it only harmed his own image. Jan thought that it was a fatal, fatal mistake because otherwise, Novak was a sensational player. And well, it's very hard to disagree with that. He also stated that Novak wanted to be a personality, but he just didn't have the charisma of John McEnroe or Ilan Astazi, which made it more difficult. He said that Noel was a great player and and a great worker, but he wasn't Rafael Nadal. He said that there was no one like Rafa, especially at Roland Garros, where Noel recently lost to him in the quarterfinals. Back in March this year, Jan also said that the Serb was always looking for his place, but he just couldn't find it. He said he was a bit like Boris Becker, a child who liked to play with fire and put his hands up to see if it burned or not. We have to say that those are harsh words by Jan Tyriak for someone who's widely regarded as the greatest male tennis player of all time. Now, what was Novak Djokovic's fatal mistake? Novak Djokovic should have been feeling very, very good when this year started. He was ranked number one in the world. He won three out of four Grand Slams last year and just barely lost to Daniel Medvedev in the US Open final. He was tied for most men's Grand Slam titles at 20 each with Roger Federer and Rafa Nadal. And let's be honest, he would have won the Australian Open this year if he had played. But then things started to go very wrong for the 35-year-old. Novak has been very vocal about his stance against the COVID-19 vaccine. He said that he doesn't have enough information about the jab and that he's at low risk from COVID anyway. He refused to get it at every point and, well, it's been a problem for him to say the least. After the lockdown restrictions were lifted, Australia announced that only fully vaccinated travelers will be allowed to enter the country, or those who are medically exempt from getting it. Novak Djokovic traveled to the country for the Australian Open in January, with a medical exception, but he was wasn't allowed to enter the borders. After a long couple of days full of drama and legal battles, the world number one at the time was deported from the country. Consequently, he didn't have the opportunity to defend his title, which most people believe he would have with ease. There's hardly any doubt about it. A few months later, he couldn't travel to the US either because of travel restrictions and so he missed important ATP 1000 events at Indian Wells in Miami. And if these restrictions stand, he'll be missing the final slam of the year too in New York. And in a way, Jan Tyriak isn't wrong. Noel's anti-vax stance has only hurt him, nobody else. So how else has this hurt him? We know Novak wasn't allowed to defend his Australian Open title and that he couldn't participate in key events in the US. But how else has he been affected? Let us tell you. All along, it wasn't just events he was missing. It was also key ranking points. Now, he started the year at the top of the world. He was number one in ATP rankings and nobody was even close to him. But after after being absent from so many major events as the year progressed, the Serb kept losing ranking points as well. With his own stubbornness and travel restrictions, Noel has only played seven ATP events this year, including Wimbledon where he'll play Nick Kyrgios in the final on the 10th of July. He's only won one title so far this year, so yeah, it hasn't been working out too well for him. At Roland Garros, he was defending his title but lost to Rafa Nadal, as many often do in the quarterfinals. That made his hold on the number one ranking ranking even weaker. And as fate would have it, he dropped to number three in the world rankings last month. Daniel Medvedev, the current US Open champion, became the world number one. And Sasha Zverev climbed up to the career high ranking of number two, leaving Novak at number three. Not just that, he might fall to number seven after Wimbledon, even if he wins the tournament, because the ATP stripped the tournament of ranking points after the ban on Russian players. And finally, is Novak Djokovic going to change his mind? Short answer, no, he's not. In the Wimbledon presser, the 20-time Grand Slam champion was asked whether he'd seek to enter the United States on a medical exemption to play the US Open. And his answer wasn't too surprising if you know the guy. He said that he wasn't allowed to enter the country as of right now, and he would just have to wait and see what happens. He stated that he'd love to go, but it wasn't up to just him. He was asked whether he had completely closed his mind to the idea of getting vaccinated, to which the Serb straight up said yes. So there's that. As of right now, 
Right now, Novak Djokovic can't compete in two out of the four slams, and it only seems to be hurting him. Without a doubt, he's the top contender for the hardcourt slams, and his refusal to get the vaccine is proving to be a fatal mistake for him, as Jan Tiriak stated. And that's all about Tiriak's comments on Novak Djokovic. Now moving on to other related news. First off, Novak Djokovic and Nick Kyrgios are friends. Some context here. The two haven't always been on the greatest terms. Nick has very famously said in the past that Novak had this sick obsession to be liked by everybody, and he couldn't stand him. He's also said that Noel could never claim to be the greatest of all time, considering he's never beaten him. Nick leads their head-to-head 2-0, but it seems like all that's in the past now. The bromance has come to light as the two are set to play in the Wimbledon final. Back in January, Nick stood up for Noel when he criticized the Australian immigration minister for his decision to remove the Serb from the country. The Australian was one of the few people who spoke in favor of him, and clearly it worked out well for their relationship. Novak said that Nick had his back when it mattered the most. Last week on Instagram, Nick posted, We friends now? To which Novak said that if he was inviting him for a drink or dinner, he would accept. And the winner of their match pays. We gotta say, it sounds very exciting. We're happy the two get along well now. Next, Novak Djokovic on Rafa Nadal's injury. Last week, Rafa Nadal went on to win his Wimbledon quarterfinal match against Taylor Fritz. But the Spaniard was visibly struggling, and he was serving way slower than he usually does. His father and his sister were in the box and repeatedly asked him to retire from the game. And only a day later, he regretfully informed the press that he was withdrawing from the tournament due to a 7mm abdominal tear. He said he couldn't risk the injury getting worse. And while he was very sad to be pulling out, his happiness was more important than any title. Last year at the Australian Open, Novak Djokovic also played Taylor Fritz with an abdominal tear in the third round, but still went on to win the tournament. After Nadal's withdrawal, he was asked to compare their situations, and the Serb said that he wasn't aware of the nature of Rafa's injury. And while it depended on where the tear was, he knew that it was extremely hard to play under those circumstances. He also gave full credit to Rafa for the way he fought and won the match. He said that injuries were the worst enemy of any athlete, and it was sad that the biggest tournament in the world didn't have a second semifinal. But he understood why he'd have to pull out. And we have to agree, injuries are always unfortunate, especially at such a big stage. And lastly, Novak Djokovic speaks about his documentary's release. While talking to the press about his abdominal injury last year, Novak Djokovic revealed that everything that was happening at the time was recorded. He said people who want to know if it's possible to play with that kind of injury can form their opinion after they watch it. He admitted that he took every painkiller in the world, had every possible treatment and therapy, and was hooked on machines because it was extremely difficult. And soon, everybody will see it. He said that many reasons delayed the documentary, but the team had finished shooting a few weeks ago and it was currently in the editing stage. He announced that it should premiere in October or November, probably after the US Open. That's a wrap for this video. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.